the theory behind Pilates is that you want to develop the body uniformly, right? So balancing muscles, balancing right side, left side, uh, front and back. So creating balance. So a lot of his repertoire is designed to incorporate the whole body. So if you actually follow a sequence of exercises in the Pilates sequence, you should be working your abs, your back, your glutes, your quads, your um, shoulders by pushing and pulling, right? So you're doing all the pieces of the body in one series, ideally, if it's a good series, or if not, you're putting two series of motions together to create that full body effect. So you're getting everything worked out basically. And the other was to correct wrong postures, right? So correct faulty posture, which is actually a lot of what I spend my time doing as a physical therapist. And also to invigorate the mind. He really believed that if you got moving, you would stimulate your mind, which we know is true because thanks to our endorphins, right? Kicking in, um, elevate the spirit, same idea. And then he really got into the core, the core muscle. So this is what we, we have, core is used so often now. But if I were to ask you right now, I probably could get five or six different answers. If I ask you, what do you think of when you think of core? Well, I'll tell you what Pilates originally called his core. He called it his powerhouse. So he was referring to abdominals, glutes, and adductors. That was his powerhouse to him. So firing up all the those muscles around there was what he thought was the core at the time. PMA, which is the Pilates Method Alliance, they also incorporated multifidus into that core. And some people consider the diaphragm part of that core as well. There is some variation, but basically, for me, I like to think of it front, back, top, bottom. That's sort of our core in here. And we can help that core with the inner thighs and the glutes as well. What's interesting is if you look at a picture of Joe Pilates, some of you have probably seen a picture of Joe Pilates, right? He has this straightened spine tucked. He stands like this, yeah, with a tucked butt flat back. At his time, he thought that the straighter his spine was, the straighter a spine was, the um, healthier it was. So he, a lot of his exercises, like I said earlier, are rolling down the spine exercises. His goal was to actually straighten the spine. So we know, obviously, you guys probably know without thinking that that's not the best posture. We don't love to see a straight spine. We like to see our normal curves, lump, our lordotic spine, uh, lordotic lumbar spine, our th thoracic kyphotic spine, and our cervical lordosis, right? We want to see those curves in there. So there he got a little, uh, was not exactly right from what we know today. But that's why I think he was incorporating glutes so much into his powerhouse is because if you fire up those glutes, and tuck your pelvis, right? You straighten your spine. So while glutes are really great to have strong glutes, it's great to have strong glutes. We don't want them to fire and take away our lumbar lordosis. Right? 